Hey everyone, it's Josh from Accessible Japan. Today we've come to Meiji Jingu. Meiji Jingu is probably the most famous shrine in Tokyo, if not Japan. It is surrounded by a beautiful forest. As we come to the Tokyo 2020 Olympics and Paralympics, it is also the 100 year anniversary of the founding of the shrine. As we move towards this anniversary, the shrine is preparing to make the shrine area more and more accessible for those with special needs. That includes adding slopes as well as paths to make it easier for everyone to come and enjoy this special place. Let's go check it out. Traditionally, on the approach to a shrine, there is a gravel path to purify you before you go to the shrine. But as we approach the 100 year anniversary, the shrine wants to make it easier for people to travel here and added these smooth paths. This huge forest is over 70 hectares and it's filled with trees. Trees that weren't here originally, but donated by people all over Japan. One of my favorite Japanese words is komorebi. Komorebi means the light that is leaking through trees. And you can really experience that here when you're in Meiji Jingu. Ah, we've come 400 meters from the entrance of the shrine. And now we've come to the forest terrace. It's a great place to rest your legs and if you need to use the wheelchair accessible washroom, there's one in here as well. Uh, we've arrived at a popular Instagram location. Over 200 Japanese sake makers from across the country make offerings of their sake to the shrine. The beautiful colors represent the different companies that have made their offerings. After a beautiful walk through the forest, we've arrived at our destination. Meiji Jingu, the main shrine complex. The path on the right hand side cuts off at this point. So if you are using a manual wheelchair, it is recommended you take the left hand side path. One of the great features of Meiji Jingu is that there is a ramp that leads right into the high den. Not only is it smooth and easy to use, it also blends in perfectly with the atmosphere. Wow. As you enter into the main courtyard, the shrine is surrounded by beautiful huge trees and is really an awe-inspiring sight. This slope was added three years ago. It's very smooth and easy for someone to push a wheelchair up. It also allows visitors to go to the main hyden and offer their prayers as well, just like any other visitor. Joshua san, konnichiwa. Welcome to Meiji Jingu. Thank you for having me. It's great to see you. Good to see you too. Thank you. Up until now, I've only ever come here by train, so I didn't know that there's actually a parking lot nearby for people who are using wheelchair accessible vehicles to also come and visit the shrine. Yes, people can use the paved pathways from the parking area located at the east side of this precinct. <laughs> 